everybody, Patty Dooley here with Tupperware, and today is our soup day for the flu and cold season. So today I'm going to be making a lemon chicken soup with orzo in it. Uh, if you're on my business page, we've been working on soups uh, in my VIP group. We're working on, I should say, we're working on soups this month on uh, soups that people like during the times when they have flu and cold season. Uh, we had a conversation and everybody got to tell what kind they like so I picked this one today that we're going to cook and if you're on my YouTube channel uh, we are you can go over to my business page the link will be down in the description below and you can visit and see what all's going on over there and if you would like to join my VIP group uh, you can click on visit group and then answer three questions and I will get you in as fast as I can. So today we are going to work on this soup but we're doing it in the stack cooker. Uh, there's several ways that you can do this soup. One, if you're doing the microwave with Tupperware products you can do it in the stack cooker or the pressure cooker or if you don't have any of those products get with me and I'll be glad to talk to you about them. Uh, or you can do it on the stove. <laughs> uh, you can do the, the soup from the chicken with from the raw state if you want or you can use a rotisserie chicken. Now, of course, when you're having a cold or the flu, you're not really gonna wanna stand up there for a long period of time, boiling a chicken and getting it ready for soup. If you don't feel that bad, if you feel it coming on, then maybe you might want to, but to make it easy on yourself, tell somebody to run to the store and grab you a rotisserie chicken and some uh, vegetable or chicken stock and then put this together because it is like super fast and super easy. If you're cooking the chicken from the raw state, uh, I would suggest six minutes a pound. So if you're using two pounds of chicken in there, which would be a couple of chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breast, uh, just make sure that you cook it six minutes per pound for the, the meat to be done. Then add some extra minutes on there to make sure the carrots are done that's going in there and the orzo. If you don't have orzo, don't worry about it. You can use fettuccine noodles, you can use regular spaghetti noodles, uh, your favorite pasta, whatever type of pasta you have, you can put in here as well. I'm using the orzo today. So we are going to get started. I've already got things already pre-chopped, so this is going to go quite fast and quite easy. So if you are sick with the cold or flu, or somebody in your family is sick with the cold and flu, this soup will be done in a, in a flash, so that way they can sit in bed and sip on a nice cup of hot nourishing soup because you've got all your vegetables in here that's got vitamins and everything that you need you've got garlic in here a natural antibiotic and uh, it just gives you that nice warm feeling when you're sitting there and you got the sniffles and coughing and the lemon in there helps cut cough so there's a lot of thing about this soup that will help while you're sick so we're going to go ahead and get started and like i said today i'm cooking mine in the stack cooker now if you have never seen the stack cooker uh, this does just what it says it's stack cooked it's a Tupperware and it works in the microwave so it comes with a three quart bottom and that's what we're going to use today it comes with a top that you can turn over and cook with it comes with a cone a colander that you can steam in here do potatoes meats if you haven't seen any of my other videos uh, check back on my youtube channel for cooking with the stack cooker you'll see where we've done lots of stuff with this thing if you're on the vip group you've watched me use this thing a hundred times <laughs> and then you've got a one and three fourths quart here so we're just using the uh bottom part here and the top and we're not going to use these pieces so i'm going to set these aside so like i said this soup is so fast so easy because I am using pre-cooked chicken that I put up in the freezer, I've got two carrots in here that's chopped up. And I'm going to tell you, to cook them a little bit faster in the microwave and more even, cut them on a diagonal like this here. I, for me, I have found out that it just seems to cook faster that way and more even in, in there. So that's how I do mine. I've got one stalk of celery I'm putting in here. I have about half a onion chopped up. It doesn't have to be finely chopped, just nice big chunks in there. And then 
I have three cloves of garlic that I went ahead and crushed. They're kind of small pieces of garlic. And put that garlic in there because the garlic is a natural antibiotic. And it will help soothe the throat and uh, boost the immune system as well from the garlic. So we've got this in there. We're going to just go ahead and put our chicken in there. Like I said, if you're using uh, raw meat, you can just chop it up into... Uh, nice bite-sized pieces put it in there and make sure you cook it six minutes a pound so this is about pound and a half or so of chicken that I'm putting in there and if you want go to my business page uh, this week we were having a sale on the big huge orange fastable 42 cup bowl and I showed on Monday how to brine two whole chickens by the time we got done it was two chickens weighed 11 pounds and we brined, use that big Thasta bowl to brine the chicken. And then this is some of the chicken that I brined and cooked off and put in here. So it smells great. It tastes great because I've tried some already. <laughs> so to this we need to add some chicken broth. And I'm going to start off with this one container first. I'm probably going to add a half a another one because the orzo when you use that or your pasta it is going to uh, cook up and use some of the liquid so you want to make sure you have enough liquid to cook that you you just want your pasta cooked to al dente you don't want it mushy in your soup so we're going to do about another half of container in here to that i want to add just a cup of orzo orzo is a pasta that looks like rice. So I'm getting a half cup here. We're going to do a whole cup. I'm just using a half cup so I can get it in there. We're going to sprinkle that around in here. And that's all we need of that. Top back on here. And then I'm going to take some, just a sprig of fresh rosemary. If you don't have it, go ahead and put like maybe a teaspoon of rosemary in there. If you don't have fresh herbs. And then I have some thyme that I'm going to put in there, some fresh thyme. I've got a bay leaf that I'm putting in here. I've got some dried oregano. I'm just going to sprinkle that off in here. Then we're going to put a good pinch of salt because your pasta is going to cook up and use the salt and so is your vegetables. So I'm putting a good, now this is kosher salt so don't freak out. <laughs> if, I, if that was regular table salt that would be like, ooh, that's a lot. But it's not. And then we're going to give this a stir. Get the herbs down in there. Like I said, if you're using fresh chicken, you can. And we need to put the juice of one lemon in there. I'm using my handy jukes are here. love this thing. We use ours a lot around here. It goes through a lot of lemons and a lot of limes. And then I'm going to put about half of this other chicken broth in here. If you have fresh, use your fresh. But if you don't, the prepackaged is just fine. So we have got everything in here, and that's all that really goes into the soup. That uh, lemon juice gives it a really nice, fresh scent. And like I said, you've got your vitamins and everything from your carrots and your celery, your onion, your garlic, and then the lemon and stuff in here, and then the chicken broth. So this should make you feel good if you got the flu or cold having to sit there in bed all wrapped up and 
sit back and zip on sip on this. So we're going to put this in the microwave. I'm going to put the top on it for a few minutes. And then I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes because I want the I want to make sure the carrots are done and the orzo is done as well. So when this is done, we will come back and I will show you what it looks like. We'll scoop some up and put it in the bowl and uh, you can check it out then. So don't go away, but we'll be back. Okay, guys, I've had the soup cooked for 20 minutes and I've taken it out. And we're going to lift the lid so always remember to lift the lid away from your face so the steam doesn't come up and hit you in the face because that could be hurtful and pretty bad so we're going to make sure that steam doesn't come up and hit us right in the face Woo, smells good i'm going to give it a stir here our orzo is done and look at that and tell if you cook orzo enough you'll know just by looking at it that it's done <laughs> I'm gonna get me a fork I'm gonna take a carrot the carrots are done now one thing about cooking soup for a cold do not overcook your vegetables in there because you you want them done but you don't want them mush because you want to retain the vitamins and the nutrients that's in there that's going to help your body during that time with the cold or the flu so they're still I mean they, they the fork goes in them easy but they're not falling apart mushy cooked so that is done we'll check one piece of celery and because well the celery is pretty much clear we'll just give that a easy to go in done so that is the chicken and the uh, lemon orzo soup we'll get that bay leaf out of here now the thyme I'm just going to leave in there I'm not going to hurt anything the rosemary because I put it in as a sprig I'm just going to take that out just like that it's got the flavor in the soup we're just going to stir it around if you want another little punch of uh, lemon in it go ahead taste it if it needs a little bit more put a little bit more fresh squeezed lemon juice in there but we're gonna go now and add a couple of teaspoons or a tablespoon or so of chopped parsley parsley is good for your digestion and stuff so you know when you're sick sometimes that stomach is a uh, kind of upset so we're gonna put that in there fresh and I'm gonna dip this up into a bowl here in a clear bowl it's not a Tupperware bowl forgive me <laughs> I want you to see what the soup looks like it smells amazing but you can get your favorite soup mug when you're sick kick back on your bed or your couch with a good movie mine is Indiana Jones <laughs> when I get sick Indiana Jones goes in and it plays all day long <laughs> that or Star Trek and uh, kick back with a nice big mug of soup sip on that broth be sure and drink plenty of fluids wash your hands often uh, matter of fact wash your eyes because the germs get from our hands we rub our face around our eyes and a lot of times that's how we get sick so wash your hands and your face often uh, for during the winter months to keep those germs away uh, build your immune system up with lots of garlic and fresh uh, fruits and vegetables lots of vitamin C in there a lot of prayer <laughs> really a lot of prayer <laughs> for the flu and cold season but that is our soup for today I'm gonna hold this up there it's a little warm but I'm gonna hold it up there where you can see I don't know it's a little hard to do that but I'll get a picture of it for you and I'll put if you're on my VIP group I can always post a picture up on the VIP group if you're on my business page I can do it there and if you're on YouTube watching this I can post a picture of it at the end of the video so for all of my people watching on the VIP group and my business page and even to you guys here uh, we have some sales ending Friday this is our mid-September to mid-October sale so this is going off 
Friday, so be sure, go back, look through the album on the business page or the group and see what all is ending. If you're not on my business page or group, jump over to my business page. There's a, a thing there where you can see everything. Our big 13, our big 42 cup dusty bowl that's on, and I apologize, this is not showing the real color on here. It's showing like a gold, but it's really a burnt pumpkin orange. And it ends Friday. It's on for $13, so be sure and jump over there and check that out. And then we have all of our Fasta Bowls and everything that's on sale. So you guys go over to my business page. If you're watching on YouTube, check out the albums there with all the sales. And if you are on my business page and my group watching this, uh, be sure and get with me uh, because all of this ends. The bowl ends Friday and the brochure ends Friday. The Fasta Bowls go until the 25th. And if you're new to my... Uh, YouTube channel here. If you're watching this after October the 11th, 2019, the sale is gone. <laughs> Just so you know, so you're not trying to jump over. You can jump over there and visit my page anyway, but um, to see what else is going, what else is new on there. So, but that is our soup uh, this week for our colds and flu season. Next week I'll be doing another soup that you know a suggestion of one of the members there and uh, if you have questions about the stack cooker or any Tupperware product uh, please feel free free to contact me you can message me on my Facebook it's facebook.com forward slash TW Patty Dooley you'll find me there you can message me on that way you can email me at Patty Dooley at hotmail.com I'll be glad to get with you uh, and if uh, you like the video give it a thumbs up share it with a friend so you guys be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye.